is a Bramble Jam podcast. Well, hiya, hiya, hiya. Oh, Hello, boy. everybody. Welcome to Decom Descendants episode something. Yes. Seven, to be here. Eight? It is eight. Not nine. Ten. Including the trailer. I Eleven. think we know how to count. No, I think genius is ten. Mm, nine. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. <laughs> Am I right? Guys, we're hitting on all cylinders today. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Today? If you're watching on YouTube. Look at the Irish. Uh, I don't know if it's today, but our set is decorated accordingly. I actually think it is. You think today. it is today? I don't think it's St. Patrick's Day is on a Friday. I'm pretty sure it's on a Sunday this year. I thought it was um, always on a Friday. No. It's always on the 17th. No. Are really? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Maybe every, everyone Sunday. just celebrates this it on, guy. On, on, on a Friday. The Irish person in the, the room third, is very... It's always the third Friday yeah, of right, March. That's right. It's like how Christmas is always on a Tuesday, like election day. You know how that goes, I thought right? it was like Easter. I thought it was like Easter, how Easter kind of farts around a bit. Easter's the worst. You never know when I mean, Jesus is coming best, back. I mean, it's the best because of our Savior. But oh, but it could, also, be like, it could be like second week of March, it could last week of be April. March 5th, <laughs> April 29th. It could 100% be those two. Stop effing around, Easter, with your with your Roman calendar. Like, stop it. Oh, why are we, why? Uh, thanks to everybody who has left a review. Uh, the se- the two stars is starting to creep up. Um, really? I don't know. It, I see more of a two star then uh, obviously five stars in the lead. Well, there's there's it's just because there's two of them, Brady. Yeah. There's two two stars, one one up. star, and one four star. Yeah. Everything else, five star. What do we, four my thing is Four this. star, what do we got to do? Yeah. What do we got to do to get you over? Get you into a five star review. Um, my thing is this. We have almost 100 people following us on Instagram. That's now. nice. The high 80s. And we got 41 reviews, which means half of our Instagram followers have not yet left Ooh, a rating review. Oh, you dirty scoundrels. It does sting a bit. Maybe calling them dirty scoundrels is not going to go. help them right away. Get your S to together, okay. Instagram followers, and go. I will say, I will say on Spotify, we have 10 reviews. Okay. Okay. Five stars. Ooh, all. Yeah. All fives. Yeah. I love that. Across the board. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. people on Spotify, are they better? I don't know. I don't listen to my podcast on there. but uh, I used to so weird. until I joined uh, Bramble Jam Plus. Right. Of course. Which you can do here as well. You don't you get can any. Listen. You can no. listen to the Bramble Jam Plus podcast on Spotify. I want to be very clear. They're there. Um, but the the feed, the feed the no used commercials. to not be able to. Oh, you can The Bramble now? Jam Plus, you can now. You can oh, now. Wow. They recently enabled that, but not for very long. So congratulations. Yeah, it's been so about I, a year. I was a big Spotify <laughs> podcast listener, and then I, I jumped ship, mm. but now, jump who ship, knows? They jump back over to that ship. Jumping ship, <laughs> that jump. decom, that's coming, coming up. Well, a, you got horse doing? sense first, and then jumping ship, jumping ship comes later. That makes a horse a lot Lawrence of sense. Brothers joint. The Lawrence Brothers What is? Uh, Hor- horse sense and jumping ship. Both of them are Lawrence Brothers joints? Well, horse sense is just Joey and Andy, and then Matt Whoa. comes in for And they're back to, ship. the movies air back no. to back? Okay. No. All right. Finally, some semblance of order. Could you have, could you have named it the youngest uh, uh, Lawrence brother? It's my Joey, Matt, and Andy. Yeah, but, uh, but could you have had Before not? Before I just said no, that. No, gosh, no. absolutely not. Jo- I Joey to be Lawrence, honest. the one from Boy Meets World, and the the younger one. Yes. That's how I know them. I watched Andy's one episode of the sitcom. At least four decoms. Yeah. He wow. was really he was a he was a golden. Uh, they had a sitcom. Brotherly role, so love was, was great. Of, yeah, it was not great, but I'm glad you. <laughs> they were mechanics in Philly. I have yes. to be honest. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes, as we all remember them, the, the great Lawrence brothers, mechanics in Philly. Um, I could not. I I definitely saw more than one episode of that show. The only thing I remember is the one shot of inside the garage and them all in coveralls, yeah. and I couldn't tell you anything else about that. Show. I don't know what hijinks went on, but I know that they did go on. You know what I mean? Like I know that there were hijinks. Sometimes, insane. and by sometimes I mean on the one occasion that I listened to the Brotherly Love podcast because Will Fredette was on it. Um, anytime Andy spoke, I forgot he was there. Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. yes. Yeah. The third one. Mm. Also, Andy, come Why on, Why are we bud. wasting come on all the, the Lawrence Brothers talk on this movie, which has no Lawrence Brothers? <laughs> it's time for Delicious. People are going to think that was part of the show. I think it was edited. We just <laughs> cut it, and it wasn't edited. <laughs> It's part of the, the show where Aaron, you you bring us some sort of delicious creation yeah. to enjoy, inspired by the movie in which we're talking about. Today, 
Of course, we're talking about Johnny Tsunami. Uh, what? Johnny <laughs> Tsunami. Tsunami. The T is silent. It's not a Barcelona situation. Johnny Tsunami. It, you're throwing an H in there? <laughs> yeah. Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami? Johnny Tsunami. How many Nami? Two, <laughs> Two Nami. Nami's. Anyway, Aaron, yeah. uh, tell us about this. What looks to be a beverage. It uh, is a beverage. <laughs> Might be soup. I don't know, but it looks to be a bit. Could be soup. 100% could be soup. Could be soup. Right. With ice cubes. Ice soup. Erin with a bold move of putting her hair up for this episode if you're watching on YouTube. Ugh. I mean, what a, I also what a, thought, ugh, but it's just too hot. What a decision. It's what too a decision. hot. Bold. We would never. I, we would I like never. it. Dan, Dan and I would it's, never okay. put our hair up. No. If you're watching on the YouTube. Ugh. Messy bun do care. You can't even see the bun because of our <laughs> background, so it does look like I maybe like shaved yes, my Yes, that's head. right. Yeah, you went with Everyone, a, you went with a shorter hair. If you're watching on YouTube, comment. <laughs> just flood the comments with, why did Aaron shave you're her welcome. head? Yeah. Why did Aaron, Aaron shave her head? This is one of the really fun things about working <laughs> in the office of all men yeah. when you're a woman mm -hmm. is you make these comments uh, and they don't. <laughs> I didn't mean to drink it. You didn't. You didn't I didn't mean to. You didn't. First of all. I jumped the freaking you gun. You smirched the name of the, of the delicious. <laughs> what? And I just want to say real quick, that <laughs> sound I made was not in any way related <laughs> to what my thoughts are on the beverage. I realized I had but the liquid in my also, mouth and it shouldn't have been there. I want to be clear as to what happened here. I had the liquid yeah. in my mouth and it shouldn't have been there. Yes, this is a different conversation for a different day. I want to be clear what happened here. Aaron started talking about the plight of being a woman in an all-male office and Brian was like, I'm bored. I'm going to go ahead and drink this right now. I'm going to go ahead and... I don't. I didn't I call it a plight. I was wondering why for, I took a sip and it all makes sense. For the people, now. I didn't call it a plight. It was just one of those things where it's like, Right, they just never let me forget things. That's fine. <laughs> I made a comment about my hair, and we're going to talk about it all week. Um, anyway. Well, I did I, <laughs> you made it right before we started recording. No one would have noticed. No one would have said anything. All right, PJ Jackson. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> I made a tiki punch. Tiki Ooh. punch. I was inspired by Hawaii and the little luau that they have at the end. Yes. It's a recipe from the unofficial Friends cookbook. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, the one where they go so, the to one, Vermont. The, it's the one with all the recipes. Well, the you could have had a, like a maple drink. Yeah. But where is where's this drink? Where's the tiki drink in the series of Friends? Um, it is in the first season when... Phoebe, Rachel, and Monica have like a sleepover. They order a bunch of pizzas. They spy on George Stephanopoulos oh, and yes, they make yes. a tiki punch. And who hasn't? I know I have. Yeah, amen. So. We've met him. I, I've <laughs> met him. We need to spy on him. We've met him. So eh, didn't this me. recipe <laughs> also exists in the official Friends cookbook. Uh, it's just more wow. complicated. So I went with the simpler recipe in the unofficial. So uh, I'm not saying unofficial. I own both cookbooks, but who who did this one? Teresa Finney. Teresa Finney. Teresa thief. Finney. <laughs> you thief. Well, this one came out first. Whoa! Oh my goodness. The unofficial. So Teresa got thiefed. Mm. Teresa made a nice real cookbook with simple recipes, and then friends said, hold my tiki punch. <laughs> we'll do so it. So can you just do whatever you want to as long as you say unofficial? Um, this book is an independent and unauthorized fan publication. No endorsement, license, sponsorship, or affiliation with friends. Yeah, and that's NBC. just a red couch. There's no yeah. way that that that's And they that's didn't do a, they didn't Smart. do uh for the thing with friends. This is I as think expertly uh, a a rip off job as I've ever seen. This legal. Uh, Teresa, it's really, shout really out. Teresa, I do no think kidding. the fact that <laughs> you didn't do us. the dots in, in friends. You know how they do the yeah. dots. I think that's the thing that is copyrighted. Yeah. Not obviously they can't copyright. Are there the word post it friends. notes for every drug? <laughs> Do that? <laughs> At some point, it's just you, there's none, you've, right? Uh, you've hit high lit. <laughs> At some point, page. once you have them all, you high lit? You, that that page is all lit. Highlighted all is how lit you up. say the, yep. So all I like to work my way through a cookbook, and when I've made the recipe, I take the post-it off. Oh. And then if I didn't like the recipe, you know, we'll, we'll see... At the end of the book, if hold the hold the phone, get rid of it. Oh, so you, when you get a new cookbook, you put a sticky note on no. every page. No, 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 no. no. Until I like, you get there. No, like I'm working through this cookbook. Uh huh. So I went through it right. ahead of time yes. and put some sticky notes on things that I wanted that to you make. Want, and it just so happens to be all of the things. Yeah, yeah. all of these are, they're all, I can't all find a page wanna, without a post it note on it. Yep. They're all things you want to try. So, Got yes, it. she did go through and put a post it mm -hmm. note on every single page. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tiki punch, everybody. Delicious Tiki. going way too long. Cheers. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, I like it.
<laughs> what is it? God. It is fruit punch, um, some coconut rum, uh, some lemon lime yep. soda. Okay, great. I love it. Yeah. Uh, we're talking Johnny Tsunami. We're going to be right back. We're going to break it down. <laughs> we're going to really start with Comp Chat. Really? Here yeah. on the Decom Descendants. Up in him. Welcome back, everybody, to the Decom Descendants. That's right. <laughs> Decom Descendants. We're talking about Johnny Tsunami today. Um, we have to be honest, Aaron. We have to be honest with the viewers and listeners. Okay, what's going on now? Aaron and I went into this movie <laughs> under the impression yeah. that Brandon the Baker's so character... The so-called experts. We were under the impression that the main character, played by Brandon Baker, his name was Johnny Tsunami. You find out immediately that he is not Johnny Tsunami. He is Johnny Kapalaha. That's right. And Kapalala. Johnny Cabell is out His doors. grandpa. I mean, you can't see this, but if you look at the movie poster, it is a picture of him yeah. with the name Johnny Tsunami. So nine-year-old me yeah. yes. thought he was Johnny Connects Tsunami. It in your brain and it's done. So yeah. I don't know if who else needed to hear that. Uh, but just know that you're not alone. Yeah. His name that is there not are, Johnny Tsunami. He's not. He is Johnny his grandpa. Yeah. Grandfather. Yeah. But Johnny his Tsunami. grandpa also his name would be Johnny Capahala. That's right. So therefore, Tsunami is a nickname. Yeah, Tsunami is yeah. a, a full nickname. And shout out to this movie for in the first minute telling you that straight up. And yes. Brand and I somehow we, just didn't listen to and that. And also, when we were it would nine. be like you know Air Jordan. Like it would be if if the movie was called Air Jordan and yeah. you thought Michael Jordan's name was Air Jordan. Like, that's basically granted, what happened here. In right? our defense, Aaron, Not bad. Not it, the end of the world. The information is given to us via an announcer without a mic. So it's like, mm -hmm. if, 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 you know, I, I can see how I we mean, got there. I mean, I did know that his last name was Kapahala. Yes, but I, I just thought, thought he, he went by, yes. Yeah, I yes. thought him being, like, the junior surf pro in Hawaii... I thought that was I his will say name. The most misleading thing about that poster is that this movie takes place in Hawaii and is a surfing movie. Yeah. And that is only 30% true, I would yeah. say, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, oh. he's surfing on snow. Ooh, never mind. Now that I can see it up close. That actually yeah, the tells snow, you the whole this story. Is actually, it tells you the whole story. Yeah, yeah. yeah now I'm seeing it. Now oh, I'm seeing it. That's what me. So. Is that kitten caboodle? Kitten caboodle, yes. Kitten Kitten. Kit, kit and in caboodle? apostrophe. Kit in apostrophe caboodle. Do you say kitty corner or catty corner? Uh, catty catty corner. corner. Kitty corner is not a thing. <laughs> it is not acceptable in any <laughs> any parlance. You, you say, <laughs> Do you, you say, say kitty, kitty corner? corner? Some Get people out. say kitty corner. Nope. To find something. If there's someone with a kitten in the corner, then they say kitty corner. That's my kitty but corner. Those That's people the corner. are not saying kitty corner to the grocery store. They're not saying they that. They shouldn't. That wouldn't be English. What yeah, do you got here? The dictionary says kitty corner diagonally opposite someone or something. He was lived Webster kitty corner. Drunk? No, Web Webster's Webster, wasted. Webster got together Absolutely and said, let's not. add anything. The dictionary used to mean something. It used to, it used something. to be the thing that you could start yeah, but essays now, like, with. Riz is in the dictionary. So like, what are you doing? Get yeah. out of here. Let's riz our way into this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. no. Let's not. Did I use it incorrectly? Yes. Uh, Johnny Tsunami. Um, <laughs> July 24th, 1999. We are still in the 90s. Uh, Middle of summer. Mm -hmm. Which is impressive. Uh, the movie kicks off with Johnny and his buds. They're talking about Johnny's grandpa, Johnny, Johnny Tsunami. Tsunami. And we, we knew that. Johnny we got Tsunami. it. Yeah. They are looking at the family photo album. They're reading the old newspaper articles all about how Johnny Tsunami got that name. Uh, how he, he won the big prize. And we he, get a full he, history he, lesson. He, he, yeah. he waved the big wave. He did. Well, the story they're reading is about how he, I thought he saved people's yeah, lives. Yeah, he did save people's okay. lives. Yes. Um, but he also from won a, the medal for, for the big surfing event that takes place there. Did he win, Did he save people from a tsunami? Honestly, we were talking so much about <laughs> I was how we so couldn't surprised. believe that Johnny Tsunami was a grandfather, not the kid, that we did miss yes, I, but I do how think, he saved but lives. He won the medal. Sense. No, I don't think he's called that because he saved people from a tsunami. I think he, Thank you, by the way. I think he, he no, the did. article they were reading in the scrapbook yes. was about that. But the reason saying. he's called Johnny Tsunami is because of the medal he won. Because at the end of the movie, they give the medal to the kid and say, now Whoa. you're Johnny Tsunami. Spoiler alert for those of you who didn't want the podcast to be ruined by us giving away the plot of the movie? Kick rocks! Brian? <sighs> anyway, Grandpa's Brian a legend. would never put his hair on. Grandpa, oh, don't you know it. 
he wouldn't be caught dead. Um, so Johnny Tsunami's a legend is what you need to know. Grandpa comes out from the water and shows off that medal. He has it handy 24 seven. We know that about yeah. him. We love that about him. And we learned that surfing is the best form of exercise. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. Grandpa absolutely. looks great. And I mean, uh, for a grandpa, especially, oh my goodness, this he, guy. I think he's in better shape than me. Oh, he's in better shape than all of us. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, so John, Johnny Tsunami is like, hey, grandson, uh, you're going to be, you're going to, you're the next, you're next. You're next in line to be the Johnny Tsunami, to, to get a medal. <laughs> is that you're going to do he all says? that. More or you're less. You're next in line to be the Johnny Tsunami? I don't think he, that's what he says. Well, more, more or less. He's like, all of this is, can be yours yes, if you of keep course. going. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's off to a good start because he wins a, uh, a competition. Johnny catches, uh, Johnny Kapalala yes. uh, caught a gnarly wave and wins. The competition and the ESPN two yes, junior competition, the deuce, that's which right. we love. We love watching the junior uh, uh, surfing competitions on <laughs> it's ESPN. It's weird the, deuce. the way you say. Things. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so uh, he comes out of the water and he's like, "Yes, I won. This is amazing." Yeah. Mom is there. Johnny Tsunami is there. Dad's not there. Where's Dad? Where's Dad? Dad is at home working that's all dad uh, ever does workaholic dad when johnny get, comes home and, and his dad is like hey how, how did it go he's like i won and he's like okay big whoop let me show you how much money best case scenario you could make as a a surfer <laughs> how does he do that brian uh he goes uh what, what was the website um, something class.net it was just class.net class.net he goes to yes, class.net yes, you can kind of see different the different classes and of people he is on surfer. the internet in 1999 at his desk in his office which is the middle of the living room with no plug in sight anywhere and he's on a computer on the internet and he went to class.net and figured out exactly how much surfer make around the world if somebody had their home computer in the middle of the living room please let us let us know like five feet from the front door middle of the room you can't you just can't stretch an outlet anywhere there's nowhere there's no outlets in the floor i mean besides all of that like i i don't think i could work with my desk with my back to the front door five feet from no way no way, no how. Who, who knows? Well, the Ugh. reason why he does that is because he can see the ocean. I think he does like that vibe. Well, I like that vibe, but too. Back but back to, over to the, back the yeah, front put, door. Push the, don't be sitting, like, so close to the front can't door. Can't do back to front like, door. Move can't over do, to no, the window. Can't do like, back to put front your door. desk near a wall that has outlets. Yeah, yes. You got to make you got to make wiser yeah. decisions. For a, a big-time business boy, he's a small-time business boy mind. He's not thinking <laughs> through. But that's it, right. Right. It was rough for all of us. Yes, it was. We Dad, couldn't really get past it. Dad makes it very We're clear. We're still talking about it. Dad makes it very clear, though, that he, he just doesn't want his son to pursue surfing. You know, like yeah. this just isn't the life for you. Like there's stability That's right. in business, not in surfing. Are you getting choked up? Okay? Yeah. And so, uh, see what Bran's not telling you is that when Bran was younger, his dream was pro surfer. That's right. Yeah. And And then he found he was afraid of water, and that kind (laughs) of. And his dad said, "You can't do this. They only make forty thousand dollars a year." And that is why Bran is afraid of water. Is right. he, he was super into it, and now he's scared right. of it because it's not a sustainable seems like, career yeah, choice. It seems like it's hitting personally, Bran. Yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly, though, uh, surfing would have made more money than I did teaching. So, like, <laughs> true. give me By surfing. By a long shot. <laughs> By, uh, uh, yeah, a long shot. Any whom. Um, so they're... Uh, Any whom? <laughs> the next day, Dad gives him some big news. We're moving. I gotta. I gotta go to Vermont for work. And I believe and we're moving tomorrow. We are oh. correct. And it's so cool that you're just gonna go to Vermont for a couple of weeks, and we're just gonna move to the other island. No, no, no. What do you we're, mean? We're moving to Vermont. The no. entire oh, in like family. a couple months when tomorrow. the school year is done. The, the tomorrow. best I can God. figure. This is the way I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong. His dad has created a software that helps entities be more streamlined, and the first big company that has agreed to partner with his software is a fancy pantsy school up in Vermont. And because they're going to use his software, he has to move his entire family there forever. Yeah. That is how I understand that. I I, I think that is more or less correct. Okay. I, I, it's definitely with the school. I don't know how long he anticipates this taking, but 
it's worth the move. At least a year, apparently, it's, it's to worth set up the this move. software. And but even if it's going to be a year, like you don't move, right? You make it work. If you know it's just a temporary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger, my dad's job had him work in California, um, and I just found that out a few years ago. <laughs> Did he, Where were wait, you? What? Wait a minute. So he would fly out Monday morning. What? Spend the week working in California, fly home, and then be at all of my like ice skating competitions and my brother's soccer did games. They, did they pay for all of those flights? Yeah. Did, wow. Mm-hmm. So, because it was just a brief stint, it wasn't like a forever. Yeah. Um, how many? How, how long? long? I, 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 I honestly don't know because I he was talking to, to someone about it and I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> you don't and remember him being gone for five because, straight days? Because, I mean, I was young. I yeah. mean, I, I was... And you historically younger, hate younger dad, than so. <laughs> younger than these decoms. I, I mean, I was yeah. six maybe oh, okay, or something. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, but he was. I'm. Like, I distinctly remember him being at the soccer field for all my brother's games and being at every one of what my skating guy. practices. So like, in like, I, I don't care what he's doing during the week because I'm at school. So like, I don't yeah. know what he's doing. But everything that I remember from my childhood, he was oh, there. Wow. So he was saying like, no, I, I lived in California. And I was like, cool. How about Good that? To know. <laughs> Good to know. That's amazing. So yeah, Sounds I think. Sounds miserable if you're Joe Shea though. Like that's a lot. That's, yeah, that's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. yeah. Got to deal with planes and <laughs> delays and stuff. Yeah. Tsunamis, man. Tsunamis. <laughs> People sneaking on. We'll get to that. Um, Spoilers everywhere. So, so yeah, the point yeah. of that is you wouldn't uproot your entire family and no. move them. No. To no. Vermont. No. When you have a giant house. This is still personal to you. Feet from I, the ocean. It, 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 it is still, it has not become any le- less personal to you than it was when we started. <laughs> It is, you have taken this very personally, that the Tsunami family is moving away from the beach. You saw this movie, yeah. it hit you, you you cut off all your hair. Uh, <laughs> it's clearly affected you in a very deep... Yeah, it has. I, she, I literally was so distraught that, like, I don't know, I, I think if high tide rolls in, those waves are hitting the window. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it makes sense that the desk isn't right up against the window. That's right. Maybe. You okay. So we figured it out. We it's figured a, it out. It's a high tide. God forbid there's a tsunami. It's a, yeah, it's a tsunami Yeah, because uh, being in the middle of the room is going to save you from a tsunami. Everyone for knows sure. that. Um, yeah, we figured it out. Good. Mm, Good. The Carmel so they, family has it figured out. <laughs> they, do, they do move, and the transition is... Uh, tough to say the least. It's freezing cold, uh, and Johnny's not prepared for that. And on the first day, I'd say the kids aren't exactly All welcoming. Right. You know, Correct. there's a bit of bullying, which you know I love. There's a bit <laughs> to do. Uh, what? There's a bit. Of, I can't even imagine Brian trying to bully someone in school. <laughs> yeah, imagine. I can't even imagine you trying to go and be like, ad, like actually mean. Yeah, just imagine. I can imagine it. Shut your mouth. And that sounded also very loaded. It's, it's been a problem around here. Yes. <laughs> Got a clip? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have that clip. Um, the kids are bullying him. Cute that Aaron gets bullied real. That's but, right. We got a full reel. Wow. It's unbelievable. But he he just kind of rolls with the punches. Johnny's just so cool about Johnny it. Johnny Capalapa is like, whatever. Like, this happens. I'm just going to kind of like try to be me and uh, try he's to show these. He's just so like zen and chill. Like He's, he's, so, he's, he's yeah. got a he's, surfer he's, life. He's, he's like, whatever, bro. He so, doesn't he, let the bullies win. They don't he's a real Phil Jackson. Uh, Zin Zin to you too. And I love that. You know, the fact that he does that is great. But it also gets him into a little bit of trouble because yeah. when when given the opportunity to go with his new friends mm-hmm. skiing, they try to kill him. They try their best, their That's darndest, right. to kill Johnny Capalapa on his first day on the slopes. They just kind of push him out. Well, and got to be honest with you, he handles it so well. Yeah. Like he does everything. I would have hit a tree and uh, possibly broken my neck. He gets all the way down the mountain, no problem. Also, He gets right back into the pro shop. Yeah. Yeah. Best case scenario. Also, there's a there's a girl involved that it, it appears maybe the early romantic interest of Johnny Calypso. Right. Her name is uh, uh, Zenon. Emily. Xenon. Oh. But she is Xenon. Yes. She Emily is Xenon. Xenon. Yes. Um, who doesn't really get utilized a ton no, in this movie. doesn't. But he's um, there and like, you know, a, a DCOM star for the, that world. So, and she's yeah. hanging out with the bullies, but you can tell she's conflicted about the way in which they're talking to Johnny. But that yeah. doesn't stop her from when he shows up uh, in the uniform with the uh, Hawaiian shirt underneath it. He does. She does this thing where she's like, my dad's the principal. You know what he hates the most? Mm. 
dress code violations. Mm. But that's like yeah. that's cute flirty bullying. That is flirty uh, bullying. Bullying very different. We love that. Yeah, you were a big flirty bully. Big flirty bully. back in high that's school. Exactly. They call I, me Flirty B. Flirty B. The the thing that I just now realized is is she probably filmed this movie in Xenon before Xenon was released, and so that is why she is not heavily used because she's not a star yet when they are filming a the movie. star. Mm. Right? Because they both came out in ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the logistics of that. Day. So yeah. she was wasn't Xenon to those folks on set. She was just storm, She storms. seemed younger in Xenon yeah, than she, she did. did here. She did. I don't know. She could have filmed it, it first, but it wasn't no, released. 100%. <laughs> but it also could have been the hairstyle and cl- costuming of Xenon that makes her seem a little younger. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um, the, the neon. And here she's got like the bangs and the, the uniform. and Right. Yeah. She's not in the sequel, so I don't know how far that love interest mm. goes. At least she would never cut her hair, am I right? Mm. Dude, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna be so bullied. I'm going. I'm going to the hair salon after, after, no. after school. After school. After work. After school. <laughs> after school. Uh, I'm just. I'm transported really, right you, back you in are there. Really back in. Hey, Brian, it, go ahead and bring that trash can in, bud. <laughs> throw her in. Um, but it's just it, that is just funny, funny uh, crushing time for those two. Funny crushing time. Um, Johnny then meets his other love interest, Sam. Uh, they become. Quick friends. It's a bromance. It's a bromance, 100%. Yeah. I mean, and here's the thing about Sam, and I know this is going to be tough to hear, but Sam, he goes to public school. Oh, damn. He goes to public school. Public school? And he snowboards. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Public school. And we what find out. Rat. We find out. Not a street rat. They're uh, urchins. Uh, uh, urchins. Uh, urchins. Excuse me. <laughs> I was like, what, what, what's Where's happening? Where's she going with this? <laughs> They're urchins. They're, They're called urchins. 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 Uh, they are urchins. And did the, we not watch the, the same movie? No, we did, private we did, we school did. kids are the skies. That's right. Yeah. And Sky so, Academy. Sky Academy. Uh, and urchins. They go to Maple Valley. Go to Maple, <laughs> Maple Valley, Valley <laughs> High School, high school. <laughs> home of the urchins. Home of the urchins. <laughs> yes. So, of course. They, uh, they meet and they hit it off pretty quickly. And we get kind of this entire lore about the mountain in which they, they are on. And the mountain is... There the, is the, mountain the, lore. There's basically the lore full is segregation. It's 100% full, full segregation. mountain Jim Crow situation. The, the skiers, the more prestigious folk, the skies, they get the good powder, the good side of the mountain. The urchins... They have to stay on their side of the mountain, which while you are able to snowboard, it doesn't compare to the runs of to the, the runs side of, the of the sky sure. side of the mountain. And you also could die at any minute because there is not a fence blocking a cliff. That's true. That's yeah, true. and and the the snowboard runs just go right next to the cliff. That's right. And yes. You just gotta. You know, sorry, sorry, you're poor. Hope you <laughs> don't die. Poor. Today. Hope you don't die. Now, danger, cliff, danger. Right. While. Um, <laughs> He goes and he tells Emily, Emily, you got to try this snowboarding thing. I know it's not something we're supposed to do, yeah. but it's phenomenal. And he she actually tells uh, her not to. Yeah. He's like, you couldn't you handle wouldn't, this. You wouldn't. It's, it's, it's the, the, the thing you, you do. You would understand us urchins. The thing you do when you you want someone to come and so you yeah. go like reverse, nothing, reverse psychology. That's exactly right. Yes. Aaron, you couldn't even cut your hair if you, uh, you, you wouldn't, couldn't you cut wouldn't your hair if you want to. You couldn't do it right now. You wouldn't do it. You couldn't cut him. Uh, so, I just cut the ponytail. <laughs> so the uh, I'll give you fifty dollars. <laughs> Whoa! How about that? Not at all. Cost, yeah, I was about to say it costs more to go get it fixed. <laughs> so the uh, she takes him up on this. She says, "I bet I can do it," and it's going well at first yeah. until it's not because they head over to uh, the death. The Death Zone. Star, the Death um, Star. It is a space movie. She, You're out. <laughs> she falls down this mountain, this hill. What if I ended up in space? It's terrifying. Go around the front of the car. So true. Um, she falls down. She's hanging on. I love that Brandon just has my back for that. <laughs> yeah, 100%. No, yeah. Cool, bro. Thanks, cool, Brand. Cool. Thanks, Brand. So she falls down. She's sliding down. And she holds on. Luckily, there's like That's a rock right. there right yeah. on the edge. On the edge, on the uh, side Sam's of the mountain. Sam's like, what are you doing down there? There's I'll come join you. There's, <laughs> well, yeah, there's one rock that she has found to hold on to. Sam's like, oh, easy peasy. Easy, I've got this. Yeah, yeah, I got this. And, and he also out. slides yeah. down. He grabs onto a different rock, yeah. same location, yes, yes, though, yes, yes. which is super dope. When she fell, you didn't see that second rock, but thankfully yeah, it's, it's there. there. It's there. It's there. Yeah. So, Johnny Tsunami, Johnny Kapalakada, 
decides Kalamata. Kalamaga, Kalam, Kalamata. Kalamari, <laughs> decides that he is going to go try to find help. Well, Sam's like, you gotta go. You gotta go board to the bottom and get help. Or to the bottom, and it doesn't matter how I'm gonna do that because I gotta do that. Yeah. So he also Does some risks his life. That's right. <laughs> goes down, but on the board, it's flipping is doing all sorts of stuff, catching air. Yeah. Sick, gnarly, fun People time. See it, they're like, this guy, he's got they're it. They're like, whoa. And he does find the help. Bet you that giant tsunami's grandson. <laughs> <laughs> he, find, he finds Snow Patrol. Yeah, we heard that. Uh, they are singing their song, their one hit. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we can come and help. So they do go up. They throw down a rope. They pull them up by pull hand. Pull them up manually, not with the snowmobile. They don't help. Yeah, yeah. Nearly as efficiently as you would think they so would. So I, 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 I yeah, gave this I some if thought. Both Emily and Sam would have grabbed the rope. They and you just tied the rope. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. thought. But My no, only we were thought, like, Sam, though, you keep holding on, bro. <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> My yeah. only thought there, though, is if you hop on the snowmobile, um, it's loud. You can't hear. So if someone starts to lose the grip, maybe they wouldn't be able to hear it. So at least if you're pulling them up, you can keep your eyes and your ears. That's terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's not terrible. It's 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 sound advice. You wrap the rope around you. You tie yourself to it. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then you get lifted up by the snowmobile. I don't know what to tell you. The rope almost didn't, okay. didn't make right. it. it. We're going to pause. 30 feet past. And then they're like, it's the end of it. We're going to pause this episode. Wow. The three of us are going to a mountain. Ooh. We're going to get a snowmobile and some rope. In the budget. Huh? And we will report back. You're going to feel right. pretty silly. <laughs> That's right. That's when right. I try to rescue you with snowmobile well, and you slide off. <laughs> Bran is no longer with us. Uh, I, 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 all I'm saying is. Bran is no longer with us. That's right. But the show must go on. So anyway, Aaron, they get rescued off the side <laughs> of the mountain. Oh, my God. Yeah, Brand? you're gone. Buddy? You're not here. Man, people get to watch this on YouTube for free? Yeah. All I'm saying is you can't hear. Some of you are so loud. There's a problem. Anyway, um, this causes some friction, obviously, because mm-hmm. Emily's dad is the principal, headmaster, um, <laughs> and she's like, I can't be seen around you. Then all of her friends, the skiers, they're like, you're a chump. You're a poser. Yeah, right. they were You're maybe there. hiding their bullying, yeah. and now they're just and you would you would say bullying. Yeah, that, that that Johnny Capabara could go right <laughs> home and get some support <laughs> from the one dude that knows him the best, his father, and you would be you'd be wrong, wrong. You'd be wrong. So yeah. his dad's peed right the O off. Yes, and it's like, hey, not only are you not allowed to snowboard anymore. You're going to go to school. You're going to do this and you're just not going to do anything else. Basically. And you can't hang out with Sam anymore. You can't hang out like, with Sam anymore. And that's going to be pretty easy because Sam, Sam comes over and lets him know some bad news. Army at half day. No, his dad is leaving with Army and he's got to go with him. Got to go to uh, Iceland. But also this is so. the only time in the whole movie that Johnny does pop off. The one time mm-hmm. in the movie that he lets his anger get the best of him and he actually gets mad at his dad. And it's still not a yell, but he he does finally be like, this is unbelievable. I yes. come here, I have yeah. a good attitude, I get bullied. And even you're and just the, blah, blah, blah. And the one yes. friend that I have is now leaving. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah. he decides yeah. to take matters into his own hands. Yeah. And he calls Sam and says, bud, what? I got a plan. What if we sneak on a military transport from Vermont to Hawaii? <laughs> You know that they do it once a day. Oh, yeah. You know how those run It's frequently. the military transport. You want to catch the 4 o'clock from Montpelier to to the island? You want to? You guys want to catch that one? They don't even know we're there. There's so many people that take those military yeah. transports. Mm-hmm. We would just be, we we'd be yes. lost in the sea of people. Yeah. I don't know how they got to the airport. Doesn't matter. I don't Doesn't know Doesn't matter. They, they did the military airport. pace. Yeah. I, Next thing you know, the two of those, these fellas are just uh, walking, walking the on beach. the beach. Bare with their foot. luggage, yeah. they are in Hawaii. And don't you know it's the correct beach where Johnny That's Tsunami right. is yes. surfing? It's I don't know so if they believable. don't know if they parachuted or what, but they are there. Um, Johnny Tsunami lives by an airport. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear that all movie, hear, but yeah, right yeah. behind that beach in their houses, just a, a full runway. Yeah. You just don't see it. So Johnny Tsunami calls his son Johnny Kapalapa's dad. Mm-hmm. Um, Pete, and, I think. Uh, sure, we'll go with Pete. <laughs> Pete uh, it is Pete. Peter. Uh, p- p- just destined for a boring, a boring job. Yes. Uh, and says, hey, 
they're here, they're safe. And so Pete is like, great, send, send them back them ASAP. Home. And he's like, mm, I could. But I think that they need to make that decision for themselves. Oof. Now, I got to be honest here. Mm. If this happened to me, if my kids... My dad would never do this. ...ran away, I, I, and they run to my parents' house, and I call them and I say, get them home ASAP. If they decide to call an audible and just be like, no, we're actually going to, we're going to stay here. Boy, how do you, I would, I would go to them. I would take matters in my own hands. I, if I was dad, Peter dad here, I would hop on a plane. I'd sneak onto a military translate. Cause there's only, there's a few a day. And yeah. so I'd get there and I'd be like, yo, first of all, dad shove off. <laughs> This is my kid. That's right. Like, it just, obviously, it ends up good. Spoiler alert. Everything works out. And it was what Johnny needed. Like, Correct. I'm not, like, Pete's not right here. I'm just saying, as the parent. But if you I, were a bad father. Right. Which you're not. If you were a bad father, then the dad trying to be a good father to you would maybe do this. Sure. It of course. Still I, I see me how nuts. this gets done. But John, it's not like Johnny Tsunami on the phone yeah. did a great job explaining it. He's yeah. like, I just think they need to figure this out on their no. own. To heck they do. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. You got a dog in this fight? I mean, I'm not a parent, uh, so not really. But I, I kind of agree with Bran. Like, I, I do think Johnny Kapahala needed that time in Hawaii to see, like, all right, this isn't really home anymore. He needed to, like come to that decision i don't think the grandfather should have just been like not sending them home until <laughs> they decide i think he should have said like yeah. they're really upset yeah. i think they need a couple days to calm down he could have so many it. ways he could have like, explained it that, it that aren't the way i mean he did i think it. like it, not forcing them to go home immediately was the right call right, right, but it right, should have been right, like right. i'm gonna give them a day let them cool like cool down we'll send them home or if you were a better dad, how Brand said, like, I would go get them. Yeah, like, Pete, buddy. Pete's hands are tied. Yeah. Be, like, be a better dad. Be a better dad. I've got to work on Your kid is, just ran if from my Vermont kid is in to Hawaii, Hawaii to I'm, get away from yeah, you. I'm going to Hawaii. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for him to send them back. I'm going. I'm just going to go right now. Like, we're going to make it, it right. We're going to make this next right. flight. Yeah. Next so, transport. Next military transport I can sneak on. I'm there. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna be a couple days. The transport's taking a couple days off. So like, the nothing I can the do. The least like realistic part of this entire movie is is that these two adolescents sneak on a military transport from mm -hmm. Vermont to Hawaii. No, no, yeah. no, and no. How terrible is our military? In my like memory, I thought Grandpa bought them a plane ticket. <laughs> nope. And somehow nope. that made that made sense to me. And then rewatching it, I was like, I had, I had so many questions. Just got there. Just showed <laughs> just up. So I mean, that is some street just smarts all, right just there. On the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Johnny Tsunami lets them know that they can stay. They take the day to surf. Obviously, Sam's never surfed before. He has to learn how to surf. It's payback's a B. You know what I mean? Payback's a B. Um, but they they learn our lesson pretty quickly. Honestly, they I think spend yeah. a One day night by the fire. Because Johnny yeah. Johnny Capalaga is the best kid. That's that's yeah. the Tego. He's, the, he's best the best kid. He yeah. finds out he has to move from Hawaii to Vermont, and he's like, "All right, yeah. if that's what we got to do." Uh, like, it's, he's he's just he's chill. It's unbelievable. He's chill. Yeah. Um. And so he comes to his senses. He's like, you know what? This probably I didn't handle this the right way. Blah blah. blah. It's time to go home. Yeah. When they get home, he like. He apologized to his dad. He's like, I'm so sorry I didn't handle that well. It's unbelievable. He always <laughs> no. takes the high road. He's high road Johnny. High road Johnny. That's, high road Johnny. That's exactly high right. High road it's Johnny insane. Archipelago. That's right. So they do get back. They have, uh, you know, jo uh, Pete has a, a heart to heart with his son. And then Johnny Tsunami has a heart to heart with Pete. Yeah, uh, actually, lots, of, yes. uh, uh, yeah. lots of hearts to hearts. Heart to hearts. Yeah. The fact <laughs> that the grandfather shows up in Vermont and then has a heart to heart with his son is the domino effect that leads to us breaking some generational trauma. That's which, exactly right. Above and beyond there, Disney. But Nicely can, done for but can we ago. break generational segregation? That's what we're going to mm -hmm. find out here. Amen. And the answer is maybe. Maybe. Because Johnny shows back up, 
And he takes his grandpa, Johnny Tsunami, <laughs> snowboarding, which he's great at, by the way. Shreds that. And he would have so told it's you not just asked. Yes. It's not just Johnny Tsunami. It's Johnny Avalanche. And oh, uh, that's the same. It is. Yeah, no, that works. It's the same. Johnny it is Avalanche. a natu- 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 natural. Natural is not that hard of a word. <laughs> Natu- it's a natu- natural disaster. <laughs> Sometimes brand CD just skips. Yeah, it really does. Well, it's because I, I have one of those. I have one of those one hundred disc changers. It's just and natu- so it natu- just kind of gets. Natu- natu- <laughs> natu- <laughs> I'm alone there. Uh, and so he uh, is like, "Wow, you're amazing, uh, Grandpa. Of course you are." Brian and the gang show up, and they're like, "You're not supposed to be here." And Johnny Tsunami's like, what are you talking about, kid? <laughs> like, we can be wherever we want to. I'm Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> uh, the kid's like, no, you can't. This is our side of the mountain. And that is when a little challenge takes place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Johnny K- Kapalal <laughs> speaks <laughs> up and says, let's challenge it. Let's do it. If, mm-hmm. if you win if you on your me. skis. You'll never see us again. You'll never see us again. But if I win... We'll share it. We'll share the mountain. We can we can, we can ski we, and board you, wherever we want. We'll board over here. You Even can ski over there. It doesn't matter. When he's trying to win the right to do something, Johnny Tsunami he's the best. still wants to make sure he shows compassion to he those doesn't want to take he's away their rights. against. It's unbelievable. I feel like I'm going to hang up a photo of Johnny Kapahala. This kid is just Jesus so Christ. Can, like, He's unbelievable. He really is. He really the is. The level of compassion to his enemies just, is unlike anything we've seen since Mahatma Gandhi. And, <laughs> and can we just take a moment to talk about the audacity of the bully to He's straight Mahatma up bully tsunami. Johnny Tsunami? What? The bully, how yes, he just like yes. straight up starts attacking the grandfather. It is a bold move. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like, a, it's a move, It's a bold man. move. It's a move. Uh, you know you're a bully if yeah. you're bullying uh, your bull, your bull's nah. grandpa. <laughs> like you know that's the that's a nut, that's next level bully stuff right there. Yeah. But Brian, Br- Brian, Brit, Br- Br- Brit, what's Brit, Brit, Brit. Natural, natural, natural. Brit, He's Brit, a little Brit. unsure. Brett, Brett is a little unsure, Brit, and so Brit Johnny Daddy? Tsunami decides to sweeten the pot because, of course, he's wearing his medal. He takes it off and he says. Winner gets this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Jo- Grandpa That's offers huge. up his medal. That's yeah. big. Johnny Tsunami can never be more than five feet from that medal. That's so exactly he, right. He, he actually went disintegrates. To Vermont, had to bring it with him. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. it's where that medal from. It's full of sure, essential yes. oils. Yeah. So, you uh, <laughs> see. <laughs> so, the race is going to take place, and guess who shows up? Sam. Sam convinced the military to hold off a day. Hold off yeah. on all because my buddy, Said, my buddy yeah. is going to be. Well, in a I mean, Army was very into the whole urchin that. versus they sky love, debate, love sky. and they were like, "Whoa!" Right. Now, Army was probably pulling for sky, but that's neither here nor there. I think Army was pulling for urchin. Wow, that's a really high view of the Army. Good for you. Uh, you. I mean, I have a troops. high view. Of I think all I think I think the military-based kids went to the press. I think the, the troops are, are the best of the best. That's not what yeah. it sounds like. It sounds like you have a really low view of the men and women that serve our country. No, no. no. Interesting. <laughs> Dan would never. He has an American flag in our That's true. Group. That's true. Both ways, he demanded to put it up. I That's true. I can't be some. Go weird, ahead and get. The, can you go, I can't go be some weird that. white Christian nationalist <laughs> and hate the troops. You can paint me one or the other. You can't paint me both. It's impossible. You'd be surprised what I can do. Uh, so, the race happens, and or it's as tight. You say white Christian nat- nat- <laughs> nationalist. That's right. So. <laughs> The race happens, and <laughs> Brett is being a real Brett here. He a real is Brett. cheating. He's pushing yeah, off. He's shoving. doing all of this, and it doesn't matter. No, because no. Johnny Kapalingdong came holds. to play. Yeah, he does. He crosses that finish line. Of course, <laughs> Emily is there to not kiss. Not there yet. But to hug him and say, congratulations, you're amazing. And then Pete is also just pumped about this and says... He's so excited. His excitement gets the best of him. And he just, (laughs) an outburst, says this. We're going to have a cookout. This afternoon. This afternoon. At our house. Everyone's invited. 
And it just so happened they had a pig ready to go. Yeah, they were. They actually, had a full pig. We'd been ready pigging. To put on a spit at a moment's um, notice. Did Grandpa it bring that with him from thawed, Hawaii? Thawed. Uh, you got to thaw that sucker. They had a full that's a pig. Great question. On a spit. Can you get a pig in Vermont? <laughs> I just, I'm telling you right now. The biggest <laughs> weight one of this movie is is within hours. They have a pig on a spit in their backyard. And that is, that is, did they go to the zoo and steal a pig? What happened here? What you, don't what know. What you Google it here? <laughs> Aaron? Pig for Luau cookout. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Duh. Duh. The prep work on that's 24 hours. I can tell you right now, you just don't get a pig out of the freezer and throw it on the spit. <laughs> You'll be there for days. That, and that pig is not going to be ready for a long time. That pig is for ornamental purposes at this party. They're not eating that no, pig. No, just, just, for, no just for looks. Um, you can get them delivered. <laughs> should we get a pig delivered to me all? $75. What? For a whole pig? No, 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 no. That's oh, sorry. Deposit. deposit only. Yeah, had yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. scrolling. Had to keep scrolling. It is like $6 per pound. Okay. Do the all math. Right. <laughs> I don't want uh, <laughs> so uh yeah the luau happens johnny oh. slow dances with emily we've lost and, Aaron uh, to the, to the pig ordering <laughs> you can order it you can get it cooked as well so they maybe they showed up they're like hey we need a pig cooked ready to go we're in gonna 1999 maybe. for their luau in vermont um and uh, the movie ends oh they and do I, need one week notice so oh yeah. there, there you go. go i was yeah, so I close on that wait what i don't oils. think anybody in vermont is on call with, <laughs> no. with pig pre prepared pig. Syrup, sure uh, i mean i yes. i do think they probably could have gotten a pig from a farm in Vermont. But this would take a lot of prep is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have this party in the afternoon after the ski race in the morning without no. knowing it ahead no, of time. No, no, no. There's no way. Um, and that's it. Uh, Sam, it. Is, is, as far as we know, Sam is still leaving. So yep. best friend Sam is still leaving. They actually do give him, I forgot, they do give him the chance to go home with grandpa and uh, go to, to school there. The school year in and, he uh, says no. He says no. I think I like it here. What a guy. Yeah. What a guy. Slow dances with Emily. They do not kiss in yeah. this movie. Yeah. yeah, the music. Everyone, everyone it's is fastball. still fastball. Fastball's playing to close up. Yeah, this everyone right. is still bebopping around that backyard. But Emily and Johnny slow dancing. Just, the, just the two of them. The old backyard bebop -bop mid afternoon hard. slow dance. Mid afternoon bebop. Classic. Let's bebop our way to a break. We'll be right back <laughs> on Decom Descendants. Welcome back, everybody. Decom Descendants. We're talking about Johnny yeah. Tsunami. Uh, it's time for Overtime, where we talk about how this movie aged over time. I do have some letterboxed reviews, if you would yeah. want them. I love these. People that have watched it and <laughs> given us you their okay? thoughts. I'm fine. Letterbox this does make you really emotional. Letterbox has always been there for me. <laughs> uh, first... Um, Dhruv Patel says Johnny is kind of like MLK. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> True. That's in a much in a, a micro sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, the hat is still cool. Uh, so I do like that. Mm -hmm. um, the hat is still cool. <laughs> London says this. When I think back to my almost 18 years of living on Hawaii, the vast majority of my life, there are a few things that almost never pop into my mind. Those things would be ska music, the snowy mountains of Vermont, and snowboarding. Yet here we are, a film about a Hawaiian person from Hawaii where they incorporate all of those things. Uh, which is How great. How dare you besmirch the name of ska music? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, this movie rules. Uh, I saw one that was great. Somebody, uh, okay, Alan, <laughs> one and a half stars, uh -oh. says he wasn't even Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> fair. That's Thank fair, you. Alan. A lot of people are picking up the fact that this is a movie about segregation that they just didn't anticipate. Um, Garrett says, I have a crush on Grandpa. And I think that's fair. fair. I do think fair. the big takeaway here is when you're a kid, you're like, oh, Johnny, Johnny uh, Capalaga is a, is a cutie pie, huh? But then as an adult, you're like, boy, look at that Grandpa. Look at that Grandpa. Look at that hot Grandpa. Look at that. Am I right? 
Look at that. Um, and then uh, Johnny Bahama, not Johnny Tsunami, Johnny Bahama gives this movie five stars and says, I'm going to use this to teach my kids about class warfare. <laughs> and uh, that's what the I people think about this it. movie. I love it. What do we think about it? How did it age over time? I'll start with Aaron. Aaron, you saw this movie <laughs> back in the day. I did. I'm sure you picked up on all of the nuance yes, of it then. The name of the lead character for sure. Yes. But Johnny now, Tsunami. 2024. How do you feel like this movie aged over time? What are your thoughts? Um, of all the decoms we've seen so far, I think this movie has aged the best. Um, there was so much about it that I did not remember from 1999. Um, and then the second time I saw it was whenever when the sequel came out, like 2002 or something. But I don't know. I really liked it. Johnny is a better person than I remember him being. Grandpa is a legend. Yeah. I liked it a lot. There you have it. <laughs> just <laughs> aged well over time. Just <laughs> pretty straightforward. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. A uh, couple of takeaways. One, uh, reminded as I often am uh, at the legendary acting showcase by Jet Jackson. Uh, rest in peace, mm. obviously. Lee Thompson Young. <laughs> Lee Thompson. Young. Phenomenal. Yes. He's great, and uh, made me want to go back and watch Jet Jackson, but I can't. Because apparently Canada owns it, um, a company in Canada frustrated Canada, to say the, the least. The nation does not. When own given Jet the Jackson. chance, the country of Canada is holding it hostage. When given the chance for Disney to own this, seems personal. They said no, Canada, you can have it. <laughs> the the what? <laughs> We are we first, doing? Just had her for almost had her first F word. So the, mad. So <laughs> mad at this. I don't know what we have to do. I don't know if there's a petition point, out there. But not having Jet Jackson here in the States. What's more American than Jet Jackson, I ask you? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, the hat, uh, Aaron, and we talked about it during the movie. Mm -hmm. We have thought about the hat um, so much. In yeah. the you know twenty twenty five years since this movie uh, premiered, phenomenal hats. It's a great hat. <laughs> but to Aaron's point, I do think of the movies that uh, we're, we've rewatched. This is the one uh, that surprised me the most mm -hmm. yeah. um, because I obviously liked this movie as a kid, but watching it now. I liked it more than I remember liking it, and I think that that is maybe. Um, the first time it's happened, I guess maybe Halloween Town, but I didn't, I didn't even really like that movie as much as I just said like, this is yeah. this is better. It's better yeah. oh, as a movie. Bring back and I, again. My memory of this movie is the 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 race at the end. Yeah, and I remember that being a huge part of this movie. Like the whole part of it was, we can't ski here, we can't snowboard yeah. there. Yeah, and then really watching it now at you know. 2024 the age of 33 like it was a lot more to do with family dynamics and i don't know i thought there was like more to it than there's more to i it. i yeah. had counted for a decom so really liked it really liked it surprised by it i gotta be honest i don't know if i've seen the second johnny Su johnny cap uh, johnny capahala that should have been board. the first because yeah. you Why actually not call it johnny tsunami back on board i, I watched understand. i walked in today and Aaron, you you said, and then how did you guys I, not know that was his name at that point? Well, because, because Aaron knew, thought that he changed his name. He I was thought like, I thought like legally Johnny Capahala is his name, but I thought the child was he's called not going Johnny by Tsunami. It I got you. I got you. And then to find out that no, he's not called Johnny Tsunami. Not even the a little grandfather bit. Not until the very end of the movie. Correct. And then in the last thirty seconds, they're yeah. like, "You're you're Johnny, Johnny, you're Johnny Tsunami, Tsunami now. now." Except right. no, you're not. In the next so, one, we're gonna drop yeah, that all, all together. So I'm excited yeah. about that one. I'm I, I'm intrigued by. I don't know when we get. I don't think it comes out into. I was it 2001? I thought it was 2002. Okay, so it's definitely a, a few years. Is 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 Jed in that one? No, I don't think so. No, we so get no, we no. get Jake T. Austin. All right. Cool. And Robin Lively. Awesome. But mom, dad, and grandpa are back as well. Okay, great. 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 I mean, obviously, as long as we get Johnny Tsunami, we're here for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, really enjoyed this movie. Oh. Dana? Oh, I am I was very mistaken. Uh, Johnny Capahala back on board, 2007. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That's Eight a years whole later. life. That's a whole life, man's a, gr a grown man. That, that guy can drink alcohol at that point. So- 
That's a like there are kids we, like I now I'm fascinated by what that could be. There are kids that watch that movie that weren't alive for Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> yes. They're like, I can't wait to watch the Disney Channel original movie today. Who's this guy? And they made it so inaccessible by calling it Johnny yes. Kappa Hollow back on board instead of Johnny there, Tsunami. I, I'm, is this even a sequel? Do they do they even acknowledge the first one? I'm intrigued by it. Apparently, we'll get to it. I don't know how long it'll be for us. Uh, I don't think years. it'll be eight years, but it could be a couple. <laughs> There's a couple possible. Years. Reading um, the plot, I, I definitely watched this when it came out and okay. have not seen it since. All right, great. All right. Uh, Dan, what did you think of Johnny? Tsunami? Yeah, this movie slaps. Uh, it, this movie's good, Full guys. Slap. Like this movie, I, I don't. I honestly think the problem with this movie is is it wasn't made for eight year olds in 1999. That's the only thing I can figure is is first of all. It's our best protagonist that we've had so far. This dude is awesome. He takes everything in stride. Nothing affects him. He tries to see the good in everyone. Second of all, it has a real plot with real stakes. That's amazing. Third of all, the best father-son scene or father, yeah, father-son scene that we've seen in any DCOM, and it happens between two grown adults, Johnny Tsunami Sr. and his son. That seems unbelievable. The, I cared about the end of this movie. There's a whole plot about status and class and what it means to be a teenager and empathizing. This movie's really, really solid. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to watch it in my spare time. But for a DCOM, this is it, man. I, I was really, really impressed with this movie. And now I'm starting to think that because you guys watched these when you were kids, some of the best ones may be the hidden gems we don't know about. And that's making me, that's giving me new life right now. Yeah, I am pleasantly surprised by this movie. In my head, it was along the lines of Brink. I also don't think they aired it a lot because I didn't, I mean, yeah. I watched it a few times. The fact that it comes on after Brink, like that it happens after Brink does hurt it because there's some similarities for yeah. sure. So I think they just played Brink a lot more. And so in my, and it was one of the first ones. So it's like, well, all right, here you go. But yeah, I mean, this movie was way better than I. I can remember. already tell you, I'm starting to get a grasp on when we get to the big movies that you guys love. I need to temper my expectations because those movies have a special like cultural place in your nine-year-old heart. And, and so for me, like that means I need to expect something that would have been better when I was younger. I would say that's smart. House. That's fair. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, all house. aside smart from house. luck of the Irish, all bets are off. I think you no need to temper. Okay. This okay. land's your land. This land is mine. Good to know. And whereas some of these movies that you guys don't remember He's very well, they could be way better or way worse. <laughs> Kids a leprechaun. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah. No, I think when I, I mean, there are some movies that I, I watched a ton and thinking about them now, I'm like, there, there are some scenes where I, I think Dan might like leave the room. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh, let's get to uh, making the list. It's where we rank these movies. We, uh, we're close to having to not... Say you uh, lucky dog anymore. That's true. Well, we're closer. Uh, you're closer. I'm a week that's behind we you. Have I'm a week some behind sort you, of cinematic eye. Uh, some sort of critical eye for entertainment. Aaron, I'll let you. Do you are you prepared, Aaron? Yeah. Okay, Aaron, go ahead and uh, give us your ranking. Nine movies. Sorry, starting at number nine. Under wraps. Yeah, are we starting? Yeah, number yes. nine. Okay, number nine is. You lucky dog. Johnny Tsunami. I'm just kidding. Full, uh, full on f you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Brand was right. Uh, <laughs> um, you lucky dog is number nine. Thirteenth mm -hmm. year. Under wraps. Yep. Can of worms. Brink. Xenon. Halloween Town. Smart House. Johnny Tsunami. Number mm. one. I had to think and pray about it, um, but it still to me hits kind of those like decom notes, but it has. Like you said, an actual plot. There, there are things happening. Some really good conversations happening between grandfather and father, and father and son, and grandfather and son. And there's, I don't know, there was just a lot to it that I'm like, this is something that I can watch again and enjoy. And if I, you know, someday have kids, could show them and not be like, oh, don't, don't watch that bar. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. There wasn't really anything like can of worms. I don't think I'll ever show that to my kids. 
No, not unless I'm trying to like punish him. <laughs> Dan, you and, you and Aaron have had a similar list. Uh, do you want to go go ahead? Yeah, and, and I it, think yeah. everything. I can't believe you put it one ahead of Halloween Town and Smart House, but I I, mm-hmm. I I'm happy that you respected the fact that this is the best mm-hmm. movie. I, I think it is. It is one because it's the best movie, and it's not just the best quality. Like from a filmmaking standpoint, because the the snowboarding scenes and the uh, skiing scenes are really good. It's the best because it does everything. Like it yeah. gives you like something for kids to watch and enjoy, something for adults to talk about with their kids. Uh, the the best lead. This is one. This is one. I don't know how it's going to be topped. It's really really good. I'll start from the bottom, but this is one hundred percent one. You lucky dog at nine. Thirteenth year at eight. Under wraps at seven. Can of worms at six. Smart house at five. Mm-hmm. Brink at four. Xenon at three. Halloween Town two. Johnny Tsunami one. I don't, mm-hmm. man, this is, th- th- those, I think one is set in stone. Those other four, on any given day, I change my mind. I'm kind of like, Xenon yeah. should be fifth, or 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 Xenon should be second, or Halloween Town, I don't know, is kind of above those two as well. That's the, that's what I got them right now. Uh, under Wraps, nine. <laughs> you Lucky Dog, eight. Can of Worms, seven. Thirteenth Year, six. <laughs> Xenon, five. Halloween Town, four. Johnny Tsunami, three. Smart House, two. Brink, one. You've lost your, you've absolutely <laughs> lost your mind. You've lost your mind. Yeah. I mean, you I are think. You're voting as an eight year old. <laughs> yeah. Dan, I think you and I would have the same list if I had seen Smart House now. Correct. Yeah. But. That house has lived rent free in that's my right. head for that's 25 right. and years, fair. and I just can't. You are doing some combination of you understand what the movie yeah. is now, but you also understand the place it holds in your heart. Bran yeah. is I mean, just not wise, letting go of I his think it is, Yeah, plot wise, looking back on it, it is kind of where you are, but the house, I just yeah. want that house. Yeah. Brain is just not, he refuses to give up his action. Smart piece. house. He refuses to look at it through any lens other than the one he looked at it originally. That's what makes this fun. Pup and suds. But you, but talk about my growth though. The Halloween Town being at four, I never would have thought it uh, going into it. Yeah. So, uh, but you had Johnny you. Tsunami at three, behind higher Brink than and I, Smart higher House. than I anticipated it being behind Brink and Smart House. One hundred percent. Yeah, Brink mm-hmm. is like the the diluted Lacroix version of Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> It's worse in virtually every way. It's like Disney or soundtrack brand. The soundtrack is better. In Disney this movie. like threw something out there. Stunt doubles are better. Brink. And Brink, they tried, and then they made a better plot. They were like, "Hey, we yes. did this thing a co- like a couple years ago. What if we made it I, better?" And then we got Johnny Tsunami. I do want to say that I stand corrected, Brain. You were right. The stunt doubles are better in Brink, and and but the, uh, the and exception the, to the rule serves as the the entire argument, which is literally <laughs> everything else is better in. Johnny and Tsunami. the movie's named after the main character, and I think they, they both are. <laughs> Yeah. What's what's Brink's name? Is it Brink? Is it Tony Brink? No. He's Andy Brink Brinker. Andy Brink. Brinker. Brinker. They call him. They Brink. call him Brink. So that's they don't not call his name. him Johnny Tsunami until the end of the movie. Which the they the do. Movie. But I yes. guess the title is about him, like becoming, becoming Johnny Tsunami. Jo- Johnny Tsunami. Yeah. So that one. That one doesn't it Becoming stand. Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> literally. Then it would have been my number one. Literally. This is third based on the, title alone. Aside from the stunt doubles. So so Bran is taking a stand over words. That's right. Interesting. That's a that's a that's a hot take. It's a hot take that's from exactly, Brand today. That's exactly right. It's Johnny a na- Kalamata na- over na- there. Na- na- <laughs> natural disaster, y'all. Uh, we're back next week with Genius, a movie I don't think I've seen. Erin claims she's seen it. Anything, any decom with figure skating, I've seen a bunch. Oh, okay. It's a figure skating movie. Perfect. Yes, but it's more hockey. There okay. Is. Emmy Rossum is a figure skater. Where's the Emmy genius Rossum coming? Emmy Rossum is in it. Yeah, she's a shooter. Shameless. Where's mm-hmm. the genius coming? He, there's a kid who... That sounded like you don't think people that skate could be smart. <laughs> he doesn't skate. Okay. So there, there's a boy. I think his... I can't remember. He, Dom, I can't remember Dom his genius. actual name. Um, he <laughs> is a genius. And so genius. he is taking some college classes while still in high school. And so there's this like... Yeah. Great. Can't wait for it. Uh, we'll be back next week. Until then... Decom, decom it up. D D D calm? D calm down. <laughs> or up. Nailed it. 
Decom Descendants is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's produced by Brandon Gray. You want to find us on the socials, maybe follow us, leave a rating and review. You can go to at Decom Descendants wherever you go to the socials. If you want to see us on the website, you can go to the internet at decompodcast.com. Don't even need a www. You also can uh, find out more about how to watch us. Watch the movie live at bramblejamplus.com. Nailed it.